you have a second? Your last college game, you just scored a career high 36 points in a losing effort against what everyone has been saying is. The team of the century. It's got to be bittersweet. No one gave you a chance, and you almost pulled off the upset of all time. What are your emotions right now, Duke? You know, I missed the shot. This is my family. And I, uh, I let him down. And that's all there is to it. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Saw your indictment tonight. Those were grown men. Good players. Season. A couple of them played D1. Held your own. That's the real game, right? Outside the gym. You follow me out here? Let's just say that I'm in the city a lot, and we just happen to be there at the same time. <laughs> you can play. Your footwork and floor spacing needs a bit of cleanup. Yeah, I told you I'm a football player. Yeah, you're a senior now. And I told you I am a football How many D1 player. football offers you got so far? Tough. Committed. Plays the game the right way. You're a great player. But great isn't special. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, coach. That's the pitch. Trash, get in the Start a pitch. Still hope. Start of mine. Duncan didn't play organized ball until they were 14. Steve Francis was 16. Giannis was playing soccer until someone wised up, probably gave him the same speech. And now he's an MVP. Okay, so what, coach? I mean, I'm not just some charity case you want to help out? What's in it for you? Wins. I have a lot of good kids. I need special. I'm special. Your natural ability is, yes. Like if I play basketball again, it starts all over. Those questions. It becomes about him again. It's never been just me, it's always been us. They stop running and take him on. When we first met, you told me how you loved me, you bled me, you wanted to be part of a bigger world. This is how you get it. Maybe football is your game. I mean, you play like you're trying to run your head through a brick wall. <laughs> nah, this game ain't for you. This game's all about nuance. Subtlety, son. Paul Frazier, Bill Russell, MJ. Yeah, what about LeBron? He was a football player. You ever seen that man pass? That's the beautiful game right there. Yo, Duke, great to see you on the court again, baby. Yo, we saw you win state. Brick City for real, son. Thank you, appreciate y'all. See that sign right there? That's what I'm about. What are you about? Right now, this is a rebirth. We are only as strong as our belief in each other. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Come on. All right, let's go now, Breeden. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah! I said, are you ready? Yeah! One, two, three! Eagles! Junior, just a second. No pressure here. All you gotta do is be better than me in my first game. Yeah. All right, so what happened? Just aim for more points than turnovers. All right, you'll do fine. This is your moment. Nice job. Let's go, baby! Yo! Look who's got some serious skills, right huh? there? You like that? <laughs> Kid, 
That was something special watching you out there tonight. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait up. Wait. Man, how you doing, kid? My name is Archie. Archie Baldwin. Dad and I were teammates. Yeah, I think I remember that. I can't remember, though. For sure, I, I was just a little kid when you were stepping in the ball. Well, he sure loved you. Talked about you all the time. There was a story about a purple jumper. You had to wear this thing every day or you were blue eye. But nice to meet you. Archie? Archie? Yeah. Nice hey, to meet look, you. I'll get right to the point. Upside, off the charts. Strong basketball IQ, high motor, and you understand tempo. It's a package. Easy to sell. Sell? Yeah. So, who? Like, scholarship? Exactly. Is that something you think? Something you know you can do? There's only one game. You show me what you got in the next one, give me some high numbers, and we'll talk. But for right now, enjoy the moment. You said Archie, right? Archie Baldwin. Hey, hey. Easy now. It's okay, Coach. It felt fine when I was playing. Just, I just tweaked it at the end there. Mm -hmm. Just good you checked out all the same, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Archie? Yeah, take it easy, man. We're slow. <laughs> so how am I doing now? You did good. You did real good. It was a hard win. And we got some good tape to show the right people. D1 good? It's a step. Two games, it's a small sample size. But it gets the recruiters in the room. Then you get your deal. Assuming that's OK. Ah, oh, yeah, it's just a sprain. I'll be limited next game, but I can still go. Just like your old man. Played through it all. Even in the championship. On a busted foot. And he still dropped 40. You know the story? I know all the stories, Arch. Man, it's cold outside. Let's go get something to eat. On me. Need me to hold that? No, no. Hola, Linda. Como, si, co, como are you? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, yeah. Ay, this yeah. Time, I'm working ay, with this pero, kid. Pero, oh I'm working God. with this one. I, that's Junior. Me da mo brazo. Me da mo brazo. She said you better go over and give her a hug. She remembers when you were a baby. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. Please sit on the house. Uh, Obrigada. Yeah, man. Uh, Photos on these walls. The man, y'all knew. I never knew that man. Yeah, he sacrificed a lot for you and your mom. That's why I wonder if he would have been in the. Look, I'm gonna stop you right there, all right? This is not gonna be a situation where you start becoming my mentor and giving me all type of life advice, all right? Look, I'm not a victim. I don't got no daddy issues. The man you knew is just not the man I knew. That's all. So, what about the next game? Uh, coach just wants me to sit, try to get healthy. I agree. Isn't the game after the next one the big invitational at the at the Barclays? A lot of elite players are going to be there from around the country. Yeah, Hendricks Cobb. Your father used to coach him, right? Yeah, we was tight till his family moved to New Orleans when we were 12. You all still talk? Yeah, here and there on social. His name is number one on every board that matters. Yeah. He's the show, which makes it easy for us to get people there who can push the needle. But that needle ain't gonna budge if you're limited. All right, so what's up, Archie? I mean, clearly you got connections and everybody knows you. So why aren't you working some college job? Oh, I did. Big Ten, Big East. Did it for 20 years. <sighs> then competition got a little heavy. So I started coloring outside the lines a little. You are banned? No, 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 nothing that dramatic. Still get a job, but... And you got that scarlet letter on your chest. And I'm your way back in? That's right. I said I trust you, man. No, you shouldn't. But your timeline is short. And if 
you don't got five guys like me knocking at your door, I'm probably uh, your only chance. Look, I, I loved your father like a brother. And if I was struggling, he was always there for me. In the past, I didn't think that I would have a chance to repay him. Maybe this is my shot. So please, just, just think about it, all right? Get back to me. Yo, Archie, hold up. Yo, I'm in. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I won't let you down. Man, give me that ball, man. Wasting my time. Make your move when you got it. You got the angle. Take the step. Commit. Uh -huh. You got me, fine. Wasting go. my time. I got you. I got you. That's what you got to say? What do you expect me to say? I don't want you to say. Why don't you stop putting in the work? Put in the work, Junior. I worked so hard on my step back, the heels on my Jordans unraveled. I gave my heart, my last breath to my team. Everyone I played for in Australia. Yeah, I heard the story before Pop is getting but old. But you're not listening. You got it all figured out now? Why? Because you got a little bit of talent? Because you put in a little bit of work? You're going to get old, football player. You'll see. You can cut your whole heart out for this game. What's it gonna get you? For what? Look at me. Where am I right now? You better be prepared to give everything to this game. And it still not be enough. Get your head in the game, check ball. Face up. Pick it in. Trainer says if you play in the next game and the need doesn't get worse, be probably 60 70 percent for the imitation next week but if you sit out you'll be 100 percent and if i can play i'm gonna play and i want to win games too but i'm taking the decision out of your hands wait coach you can't sitting i protect my players no matter what even from themselves it's too important for your health and your future end of story to another presentation of Garden State IAA Hoops. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. Tonight, the Newark East Eagles are going up against the North High Dragons. Danny, your thoughts on this one? Well, the big story tonight, Junior is not in the lineup. We don't know what his status is for the entire game, but he was spotted in street clothes. Overall, a huge blow to the Eagles. There's the substitution on the and the Eagles look to make something happen. And that pass is airmailed and thrown out of bounds. Oh, that can't feel good. The Eagles look really sloppy here early. This could be a long night for them. And he controls it up top of all. Backdoor cut. Easy look. And he missed it. How'd that not go in? Devastating miss right there. The Eagles can't get anything going. And the ball's knocked loose. Here the Dragons go the other way. A two-on-one, and they'll finish with the easy bucket. Newark just looks lost, Joe, without Junior in the lineup. And so that's the end of the first half. The Dragons up on top. They lead by 14. And we send it to halftime now. Back with the third quarter right after this. All right, fellas. Here's the deal. We're getting blown out. Played, out hustled, out worked. All right. Second half, I don't care what happens. I want you to just play hard every possession. Right? Get ball, rebound, play D every possession. Get some stops. Right. Now we, we can work ourselves back into this. Yeah, you can. I'll play at a time, all right? Let's go. Get better. Let's do this. That was hard to watch. Hey, y'all, huddle up. 
Y'all playing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. Settle down. Settle down. We talked about this. You need to keep that knee in check. Nah, I'm good to go, coach. It's my choice. Okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Win on three. Bring it in. One, two, three. Win. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Hero stuff. Even in the loss, you're a fighter. Yeah, thanks, Arch. Now remember, rice it. Rest, ice, compress, and elevate that knee. Yeah, no doubt all week. Hey, 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 hey. We focus on the invitation. That's all that matters now. Understood? Thanks, Arch. Junior, rice it. Yeah. Everywhere. Oh, my man, Jimmy, he even got big lands up there. Evan, Chuck, a couple of heavy hitters from the NBA even getting an early look. Man, this all happening, Junior. And how do you feel? I'm good. Focus. You look good, too. <laughs> you look stressed, Arch. Well, that's okay, because I'm not playing. Now, look, a win would be ideal, but skills matter. You know, uh, positive possessions, tempo, your demeanor in the warm-ups, your focus on, on, on in huddles. Every player is an investment. They're gonna be trying to get all kinds of intel to make sure you're a good fit. <laughs> Write that down. Bigger than Broadway. The Hendricks Cobb experience is about to light this city up. Hendricks, Hendricks, have you never done on any college selections? Or are you planning on jumping overseas? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I heard we was playing. But I had to come see it with my own eyes. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you back playing. Mm -hmm. This is where you belong, on the court. That's what's up, man. How's New Orleans, though? Home. It's good. <laughs> I'm gonna hit shoot around. All right. See you on the floor? Yep. I know that's your friend and all, but you need to stay focused. You light him up, and the world will open up for you. All right, all right. You need to reel it in now. I'm serious. Nah, I'm serious too, man. It's just, the vein in your neck is bulging right now, man, and I'm worried about you. Ain't no vein in my neck bulging. How, how, how big is it? <laughs> Look, man, I'm just saying, you need to worry about your salt intake. I, that, that's all. See, now you're pushing it. I done played basketball before. I know what this game's about. I know how to win. As soon as that tip goes up, ain't no friends no more. Don't worry, Arch. I got it. No. This room's for players and coaches only. Out. Ah, oh, it's okay. Coach, he's with I me. I know exactly who he is. Out! Hey, come on now, don't hold back. Tell me how you really this feel. Is funny to you? No, it's not. But it's your show, right, Henry? Yeah. What's he gonna owe you after all this? Nothing. Hmm. Nothing at all, Coach. Have a great game, Junior. Thanks, Arch. It's all up to you now. We'll get him. So as I was telling you, yeah. Man, what else can I say? <laughs> How about admitting that I'm better than you? Now that would be a good start. <laughs> I'm not going that far. <laughs> hey, you got me this time. Hey, listen, man. You showed something to these scouts tonight. I know it. 
there will be others. I celebrate with your teammates, man. You deserve it. Whoa, whoa, celebrate? We a travel team, baby. We don't celebrate. It's just on to Cleveland. <laughs> Man, this is it. College. The atmosphere, the tradition, the coaching. It's nothing like it, Junior. This is a good time to get to know who you are, too. Get an education, you know? I mean, there's no money right now, but the path gets easier for you to get a bigger brand once you get into the league because of all the TV exposure. Yeah, like Zion. Exactly, like Zion. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy. A few bad games gets magnified. Bad press snowballs fast in college. Yeah, but positive press snowballs too. Exactly. So we want to keep it positive. I know you made a few visits, talked to a few coaches, but the decision is yours. Where do you see yourself next year, Junior? <laughs> you made the right choice, Junior. Mm -hmm. Let's get you on a call with Coach. I know he's going to be thrilled. Cool. I'm going to be keeping an eye on you, you hear me? You think you're ready to declare for the draft? Just hit me up. Uh, thanks, Archie. Moving into a bigger world now, Junior. You think you're ready? Oh, no doubt, man. Let's go get it. Junior, Red, you guys ready, excited? Hunter, coach, don't know any other way. Yes, sir, can't wait. Good, like we spoke about in practice, conference is tough this year. We got high expectations in the media, but if we win more than we lose, we should be situated pretty well come tournament time. But tonight, it's midnight mania, all right? All right. It's a celebration. Everybody on this team has sacrificed a lot to get here, so you put on a show for those fans, all right? Enjoy it. Hey, Junior, I just wanna, just wanna say this to you, um, I'm a huge, fan of your father. Duke's leadership embodied everything college basketball is about. Uh, thanks, coach. Have fun out there. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Bring that back. Okay, look, this is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say stay humble, and we go bump. You gonna say stay hungry, and you're not feeling it. Nah, man, I can't see myself coming in today. Okay, okay. <laughs> Open brainstorm. It's the first pass. Nervous, Red? I'm terrified. It's gonna be all right, man. I'm receiving your energy. You are a weird dude, man. I hear that a lot. Uh, stay humble, stay hungry. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's bring it in. Huddle up, y'all, come on, come on. Talk to him, Red. Hey, y'all, I'm gonna keep it short. Today sets the tone. So let's go out there and get these fans a season that they can look forward to, okay? Break it down, Junior, come on. All right, y'all, family on three. One, two, three, ten. Yo, that was good, <laughs> Feels like a little much. You win Can I every say time. time. Well, then maybe winning should feel like less of an every event. Every time just... feels like the first time. Boom! Yo, y'all up for some doubles? Hey, yo, Lula, no, I'm not good at this game. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm always ready to take the basketball team down a peg. <laughs> Why you say that? Okay. Because, you know. I don't, do you? 
Yeah, they think we walk around like we own the place. Because everyone treats you like you do. Boom! Yo, I see, I told you I was bad at this game. Now I'm starting to live up to it. <laughs> All right. I don't act like that. Because you're new. You'll change. But you act like that, right? Not yet, but apparently it's fate. But who am I to argue with fate? Oh, oh come God, on, I love doing game. that. <laughs> yes. All right, look. Uh-uh. Serious. <laughs> Big game coming up, boys. First game, right? You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> College is a new game. It's a big step, but my dad taught me to respect it. Oh, Ellie, hey, we gotta get to practice. Oh, that's because I was winning. You wanted to walk out like that? What's your name? Junior. Hey, uh, what if, um, what if we win this next game and me and you do something together? And if you lose? <laughs> then we don't. Text me after your game. So when's the wedding? You were just scared to say so. <laughs> Ellie. It's a good win, Junior. Now I'm focused on is getting us to the tournament. Hey, that's why we brought you here. Play the game the right way. The guys in this locker room, they really respect that. This team needs a leader right now. All right? Hey, listen to me. This team will go as far as you take us. We're gonna need you to own that, all right? Yes, sir. Good job. <clears throat> what coach have to say? Uh, nothing really. He likes what we're at. Keep those numbers up in your draft position gonna be sitting pretty too, right? You know I'm saying you want to play on a higher level, right? I don't care if it's football, basketball, anything. I don't even care if it's one of the top leagues. We're still talking about all-stars from every state, every country for the last 15 years. There is no let up. You gotta be ready for that. Man, what makes you think I'm not ready? Just asking me that question tells me you're not ready. Because I'm not afraid enough? That's better as a start. That's right, because outperforming just your teammates, that's not going to cut it no more, right? What happens when you feel overwhelmed? Because that's going to happen. What happens when you feel like it's just not clicking? What do we do then? Work when you're on the clock, ain't work. Thank you. OK, so you do listen sometimes. All right, not wasting my time. Look, son. Good to see you, dude. Respect. Thanks, young man. Look, your ceiling is sky high. I believe in you with everything I got, but you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in your talents. And you got to show commitment if you want to cash in on this. I am committed. All right, I believe that. I believe that. I also know there's always more for us to do. Always. Let's go. And stolen by... Oh, my goodness. Junior, why'd you dunk the ball like that? Saw an opportunity to make a big play. <laughs> hey, why'd you dunk the ball like that? It felt like the right time to energize the team. All right, you're going to have to make a decision about what type of player you're going to be, how you're going to represent yourself and this school. Would your dad have made that play? Listen, coach, if I stepped out of line and you don't want me to do it again, fine. I can make the adjustment. All right, Junior, I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> All right, now I'm at my school. I'm bleeding our colors, but I lived on the bench. One particular game, everybody was in foul trouble, so I get tossed in. Now I'm thinking, good, it's my moment. I'm going to give them the razzle-dazzle, behind-the-back pass, crossover, step back, I threw the kitchen sink at it. You showed out. Absolutely, I wanted to show that I belonged in the rotation and off the bench. We ended up winning by two, so I'm thinking I'm on cloud nine, life's complete. Why do I get the feeling that this story does not have a happy ending? Well, coach pulls me aside and he tells me I'm back on the bench. He says we should have won by 10, but I made the game about myself, my ego. Every time I went, I wanted to do something special or fancy, we dropped possessions. 
Uh, I was mad. He was wrong. But then I saw the tape. Mm. You know what happens next, or you're just tired of listening to me talk? I'm mad because I'm listening. Look, Junior, win or lose, play the game the right way. Now, if you think that dunk was the right play, that's fine, but you're going to have to live with that, and there may be some unintended consequences. You got me? Got you, Coach. All right. Smiling, huh? Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. Oh, she oh, got you oh, smiling. Man. Look you at go. you, boy. You hey, thank you for bringing me here. This place is amazing. I come here every Monday when Madison's playing. It's so easy to get one dimensional with like everything that we do, like mm -hmm. training and film sessions and travel. And I just, I just want to see so much that's out of that bubble, you know? Like yeah. I have to. Yeah. Well, I haven't found that thing yet. No? Why not? I, that is a great question, especially because it's so direct. <laughs> well, that's what college is for, right? Yeah. Figuring out who you are, and you're exposed to so much, just if you're open to it. Like, all of this, this makes me so good at soccer in the long run. Like, at least I like to think it does. And you play for the Canadian national team, too? I'm, I'm an alternate right now, but yeah, every time I get in line and they sing, Oh, Canada. <laughs> I get chills. Like, I just, I can't wait. I, school lets me take assignments on the road as a wait, special wait, arrangement. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If my memory serves me correct, you said basketball players get the treatment. Yeah. Well, that's what you okay. said, right? Yes. Basketball. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, I did, okay. But you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, I do. Everywhere I go, people are asking me about the games, win or lose. Especially lose. Yeah. Expectations are high, but yeah, I get it. I mean, the fans, they take everything so personal. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to filter out all that noise. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I struggle with it sometimes. Being good at this. It's a responsibility, you know. Yeah, it's just all going by so fast. And I, um, I just want to appreciate this more. So thank you very much. Thank you, too. You know Alex Williams? Airball Alex Williams? Hmm. You don't know her show, bro? What? Should I? Yes! She's one of the top national college basketball influencers, and she's blowing up for the Dope Blunt podcast and video channels. You gotta take it seriously, because them NBA drive hands definitely do. All right, I'll check out. No, 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 you gonna do it now because she's all over you. Right here, she singled you out and issued a challenge. Throw down. And she even hit me on my socials to make sure you got it. Let me see that. Okay, so I meet this challenge and then what? I'm sure she'll hype you on the show. Okay, and if I don't? She'll bury you. I've seen it happen before, stone cold ruthless. All right, fine. She wants to go, we can go. Mm. I ain't never been afraid of no challenge. Yes, this is a good thing. We got the W, you did your thing. Alex Williams is gonna be hyping you off the show. I'm just glad we got the win. It's one step closer to the tournament. And Alex Williams, both can be true, Junior. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm about the team. That's my mentality, always has been, always will be. Alex Williams or no Alex Yeah, Williams. and I hear that, but look, at this level and the next level, the media is going to overanalyze every move we make on and off the court, and it's affecting the team because they're hearing it and they're reading it. Mm -hmm. If Alex Williams is burying you, then we all dealing with it. But look, your draft stock go rise, you'll see. I ain't mad at that. As long as we keep winning, everything else will take care of itself. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs>
Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna catch up with y'all later. What's up, Junior? Good to see you. You too, Arch. <laughs> Man, I gotta walk. So look, I'll, I'll get right to the point. I know what happened between Coach Bishop and I is still eating at you. Yeah, it didn't sit right. Look, I want everything to work out between us, but Coach Bishop don't trust you, and he just wants what's best for me. Hey, 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 so do I. Yeah. But you still want to get paid if I make it to the NBA, which is fair. You know, I got you here. You did? When you had your choice of schools, I never tried to nudge you either way. That's right. I was surviving before we met, Junior, and I'd still be surviving if you decided to never play basketball. Look, Art, you got me here, and I love this place and what I'm trying to accomplish for this school, but things can change if I don't feel like they're working out. I just want that to be clear. Okay. We don't have a contract. That's clear. All I can do is keep trying to earn your trust. Okay. So, you ready to see what the inside word on your draft stock is? <laughs> Definitely. All right, so look, uh, I gathered all my intel into one place for you to take a look at, but it can update as the season goes. Okay, so what's this all supposed to mean right now? Uh, nothing yet, but... It'll all shape up as we get closer to the end of the season. Just keep winning, keep your numbers up, and your stock will rise. Okay, if we're losing and I'm not producing, then it'll fall. I mean, uh, I was gonna say it's not that simple, but it kinda is. <laughs> all right. Work to do. So, Catch you later, Arch. All right, boy. Pardon me. Thank you. Can I help you? You're junior, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm Alex Williams. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, how'd you get on the bus? How did I get on the bus? Yeah. You'd be surprised by how many people think press pass means all access. Uh. Can I say what a pleasure it is to meet Mr. Big Time Professor Dunk himself? I'm just wondering whether I should call you a selfish layer, a chemistry risk, or, you know, tell the truth and let everyone know you did it for a girl. Who told you that? I never reveal my sources. But his name rhymes with Ted. Uh, listen, um, these other players that you're covering, mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't get the same, let's just call it attention. Attention. Yeah, attention. Yeah. So what's the deal with it? What's the deal? Well, I get it. It may seem cruel or, you know, arbitrary, but it's the opposite. I, I love the potential of who you are and what your game is all about. At times, it can be inspiring. Okay, and at other times? At other times, not so much, but you're growing and developing, and this is my way of helping you reach your potential. <laughs> so why can't you just say that in an article? What's with all these games? Because I'm building a profile, too. And games, conflict, that gets eyeballs and clicks. And what if you don't develop? I write a cuddly piece about you, and then what? NBA decision makers pay attention to what I say. I've built a career on honest, unmerciful critiques, and I'm not backing down from that now. Look, the stakes are impossible at this level, Junior. You know that. And even worse when you get to the next level. You might as well prepare for it now. Everyone knew your dad was up for it. It's a long shadow that follows you around. <laughs> is that funny? It is, because it's an angle. My, trust me, I get where you're coming from. But the media is a lot more twisted about the legacy of Duke than I am. Am I supposed to take that at face value? I'm assuming you got another challenge for me. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Two games. First and foremost, I'm all about winners, so win the games. Secondly, everyone wants to see you develop as a scorer. So bump your scoring average up from where it is now. What do you say? 
Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Nice. There's something about you. Professor Dunk. Mr. Big Time. Red. And score points. You know, Talk to the some, players. I got next some time. answers for you. I Alex. got you <laughs> next time, Red. Junior. Alex, you're going to be Junior. wanting this got one a, day. Got a minute? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Great game. All right. Junior, this has been a nice stretch for you and the team. Great wins. And what you've been doing out there personally is comparable to players like Zion and Anthony <laughs> Davis. You've been a monster every time you touch the ball. Uh, thanks, Alex. I'm um, humbled to be mentioned in the same sentence as those guys, but... Honestly, I'm just trying to be myself out there. Those two are in a league of their own. What would you say have been the keys to success for the team? Is it longer hours in the gym, extra time in the film room? Uh, it's been a combination, really. We've been putting in the extra work, and it's allowed us to stay confident and free. And I've gotten a lot of clean looks out there, and it's mostly because of them. Like Kareem said, one man can be a crucial ingredient to a team, but one man cannot make a team. Hmm. It's an amazing quote, and well said. We love players who know their history. Uh, thanks so much for your time, Junior. You're well on your way to becoming one of the top players in the country. Congrats. <laughs> thanks, Alex. Well played. Does that mean you're going to ease up now? Oh, no. No, no. That, it, it's been two games? There's a lot of story left to write. Like a whole novel. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. She's on the road. Then you on the road too. All right, how many days since she texted you last? Exactly. Delete her number and free your mind. We got a big game coming up and you don't need this eating you up. I'm gonna be fine by games. See? <laughs> it ain't her. <laughs> nope, it ain't. Letting the noise in. It'll bury you. Yeah, I feel like the media is out to get me that. Alex Williams? She's doing her job. No, it feels personal. But hey, even if it is, if you were to ask her or any other reporter to stop, you think they would? Nope. Exactly. All right, that's what you got to understand. It's relentless. Every single game, the fans, the media, the scouts, all you can do is play through it. Leave it all out there. How'd I hear you, coach? Uh, hey, hey, hold on. Hear me out. You gotta get out of your head. It's time to step up. This team needs a leader right now. Let's go, Junior. All right, gentlemen, that's a good job. That's a complete team win. We have no easy wins in this conference. We know that. But we are right where we want to be, and we are playing our brand of basketball, which is what, Red? Uh, togetherness. You asking and telling me. Uh, I I'm telling you, Coach. 
Red, every team is about to get them. He's talking about the details, Red. The small things. He literally says it every practice. You do? Oh, boy. Looks like somebody's gonna lose some playing time next game. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you joking, right? Hey, Junior, listen. I asked you to step up and be a leader. That's exactly what you did. Your dad would be proud, man. Thanks, Coach. Enjoy it. Coach is hilarious, right? I don't think he was joking. No matter what I do, Coach, Alex Williams, the fans, they're on me. Good or bad. It's time to get to me. So don't let him. Yeah, it's not that easy. You're the star of one of the best basketball teams in the country. It's not supposed to be easy. Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to make me feel better? It's not my job to make you feel better. I just wish you were around more. Is it just me, or are we talking past each other? Why were you ghosting me? What? I wasn't ghosting you. I was busy playing soccer around the world. Okay, and what happens if this gets bigger and I make it to the league? Well, then I will uh, sit courtside at every game, and when you're on the road, I'll lay in bed and wonder if you're okay or how I can make you feel better. Yeah, I wouldn't even want that. Are you sure? I want you exactly as you are. But at your beck and call. You want someone to rub your back and tell you it's all gonna be okay, Junior. Maybe Hendrix Cobb will always be better than you. Maybe you won't win a championship. It's not the end of the world. This isn't helping. Or get drafted. I don't know. It's this is not, not helping. Well, it's up to you to define the outcome. No one else. Get it. I think I need to leave. Yeah, you should. Ellie, there's a lot going on. And I let it get the best of me. I'm sorry. But I'll stay all night. I miss games, I miss class, I don't care. I just want this to work. Go home, Junior. Okay, 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 just stop, because I, I can't do this no more. Do what? Let's let's just speed it up. Speed what up? Whatever this is, I'm I'm calling it your Ellie Low moment. Nah, I'm good, I'm done with her. Yeah, you're not. That's good though. Let's let's keep it going. Let's speed this up. I'm not apologizing, Red. You will and you should. I miss her. Now we're talking. I gotta figure out a way to get it back. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll talk later, Red. You're welcome! Everybody need a red, come on. Yeah? Hi, Madison. I'm trying to watch a movie. Hey, uh, you seen Ellie? Look, I'm not sure if she told you, but we had a big fight. <laughs> she did. And our next door neighbor told me. Look, I know I was being a big jerk, all right? <laughs> yeah, she said that too. Can I just talk to Ellie, please? I only want to see her for two minutes. Nope. Well, why not? Because she's gone. All right, so where did she go? I think I would tell you. Come on, please. I just want to talk to her. Uh, okay, okay, I'll tell you, but you better promise not to tell her I told you, or you're really going to be at the doghouse, and uh, so am I. I promise. Canada. What? Hold on, when did she leave? You may be able to catch her at the train station if you leave right Thanks, now. Madison. Ellie, wait. Ellie, stop. Junior! Look, I didn't want you to leave without saying bye. I'm sorry about what I said. Okay? I'm glad you came. I didn't want us to end that way. I got called up to the national team full time. Okay. okay uh, so, when am I gonna see you again? I don't know. I... Uh, I might... I might never come back. 
If it all goes right, then, then I won't. <laughs> Look, you don't need me or anyone else to help you out, Junior. You're a star. Just own it. Can I just ask one last thing? How was that? Will you please take Hendrix down next game? I think it would really benefit him. It'd be my pleasure. Yo! <laughs> Yo, Hendrix, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, if the idea of facing me got you down, look, I get it. That's a long list of people who feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that must be it. Hey, um, there was a game. We were nine. I was on the bench, and you was playing. And these two adults was, uh... Yeah, they said I had all the upside and you need to match my hustle. I told you this story. You always tell me the story. <laughs> and one of the guys was your dad. My dad. Yeah. And you know my dad ain't say that to you? Hey, I didn't say he said it to me. I heard him say it to another adult. And you know, when adults say stuff to other adults, it's definitely real. Look, man, after that season, you quit and went all in on football. It's just... It's been a long season. <laughs> that it has. See you on the floor. See you on the floor. Yo, oh, you did your thing out there. Respect. <laughs> Looks like you took round two. Man, your stock is gonna rise with a game like that. Ah, man, I'm just happy we got the win. Hey, stay positive. You belong here. <laughs> you ever saw a movie that you loved? until the end it made you mad you saw the movie in the first place? Yeah, more times than I can count. Yeah. Won't be that movie. That's supposed to make sense to me? You've done the work. You got scouts looking at you. Even that Alex Williams business was a good and bad thing. It raised your profile. But these next few games, it's like that movie. Finish strong. Because I'll tell you, aggression is the dirtiest word to a scout. You show a hint, It'll latch onto you like a bag full of bricks. That's why your father didn't make it in the league. I watched it eat him up to the very end, and I don't want to see that happen to you, too. We win every possession. We control the outcome. We are stronger, we are smarter, we are faster, we are hungrier. Right. We play hard, we play together, we play to win. Tonight, we etch our names in the history book, fellas. Yeah. This is what legends are made of. Mm -hmm. We play like family. That's right, Red. We play like family. All right, there it is. Let's go, family. family on three. One, two, three. Family. family. Let's go, man. Yeah. 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 Junior. Yeah. Junior. Yeah. 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 Played hard, competed, ended up on the right side against yes. a great team. We told ourselves at the beginning of the season this was our goal. Anything less would be a failure, and uh, here we are. 
What are you going to tell your guys in the locker room? Uh, Coach, what you going to tell the guys in the locker room? Uh, what they already know, how proud we are of each and every one of them. Uh, they stuck together and they played the game the right way. Thanks, Coach. Junior, I have to ask about your dad, Duke. Now, uh, he got here and didn't win. Does that give this win any special significance for you? Uh, I think my dad would have been proud of me no matter the outcome. Hey, yo, Alex, Alex, we did it! We did it! We did it! Obviously, we're excited. You won a championship. Check that off your resume. Have you put any thought into next season? Uh, oh, no, Alex. I just want to... My time to go. <laughs> I just want to enjoy this moment for as long as I can. So no NBA announcement in your near future? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm just going to enjoy this moment for as long as I can. Okay, well, fair enough. Congratulations, Junior. You've earned this. Go celebrate with your teammates. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Let me hold that, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you earned this. Congrats. Thanks, Alex. Woo! Junior, we appreciate everything you did this season and how hard you worked. <laughs> well, I just want you to know, it's been tough for me, Coach. Had a lot of sleep, it's nice about it, but I know moving on to the next level is what I have to do. And we're behind you 100%. This university is eternally grateful. And I know I asked a lot of you, but you answered the call every time. Thanks, Coach. Congrats. Why don't you get drafted? Is that funny to you? You notice how all your questions about the result never the work? It was a simple question. Why do you think I didn't get drafted? I mean, for real. You tell me. I know you had two knee surgeries in college. Nah, it's excuses. I don't know, you stayed all four years? I wanted to get my degree, try again. You were captain of your team, conference player of the year, all team All nice defense. awards, things I've earned, things I'm actually proud of. But the NBA scouts agenda, I don't care about all that. I mean, sure, you got leadership, character, defensive motor, all that helps, that's real. Think about those other things. Well, what position do I play? Your point guard. Yeah, and with my size, my body frame, can I play anything else? And what about my leaping ability? You can dunk. Can I dunk like those good dunkers, the good dunkers you even see at the street games? And is it explosive? A word they love to use. Okay, so you had some of it, but not all of it. I mean, from my perspective, no, but from their perspective, yeah. And when a GM goes on record and says, you're his guy, and he says that to his team, his whole career and yours are inextricably linked. Okay, if I become a star, so do they. If I wash out, same. So they've all agreed on this checklist, this protocol, right? If Duke doesn't check all the boxes, then some other guy does. So they draft the other guy. They draft the other guy. At least they can say he checked all the boxes. Yeah. The fault goes back on the players, not them. Okay, that's why you gotta understand this mentality, son. You gotta make sure you check all the boxes for them. Okay, this draft cycle business, this is a chess match. Okay, if you're not ready for that, you are bound to fail. That's the setup. And so when you sign with the agency, I'll be here to support Harper on the day-to-day. -day. I'm sorry, I completely spaced on your name <laughs> walking in. It's fair, you have a lot going on. It's Layla. Layla. Layla, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Junior, hello. So excited to have you here. <laughs> I'm Harper Dell. Thank you so much for coming down to hear our pitch. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time out to meet me. Absolutely. This is the moment. You have worked your entire life to get here, and we are here to support you in that journey to the next step where you start getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to tell you, we have the deepest roster of NBA talent in the world and brand partnerships with every company you can name. Our goal is long-term. <laughs> we wanna create lifelong relationships that keep you living large now and comfortable in your retirement. In these notes already rests the shoe contract of your dreams. <laughs> you ever thought about acting? No, I, <laughs> I never really considered it, but I'm, you know, I'm into it if it makes sense. Yeah. Multiple commercial offers and scripts for interesting indies that will help groom you for bigger projects once you get your feet wet. Um, all of that sounds really good to me. Yeah, but right now I just want to focus on the draft, solidify my position, and you know, find the team where my skills fit best. Well, we have relationships with all the teams. 
We can gather intel to get you the private team workouts that you but want. Maybe not the exact team I want to play for? Anything is possible. But it is still a draft where teams can and will do what they see fit for their organization. Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> Chaos exists. We try and mitigate that for you, but it does exist. And I'm not gonna lie to you just to get you to sign. I want us to start off in a place where we can be honest with each other. You know what? This is feeling way too formal. Way too formal. Hang on. <sighs> That's better. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in the Salinas Valley. It's about two hours south of San Francisco. John Steinbeck was from there. Do you know it? Uh, no, not that area <laughs> That's specifically, okay. no. <laughs> my parents died when I was young, so my grandmother raised us on her ranch. We grew broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower. It was not glamorous, but we worked and survived. And Layla? Oh, I was uh, raised right down the road from you and Union. Oh, Jersey represent. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, my dad bailed on us when I was three, and my mom did everything in her power to make it work. We know what it's like to want more. We willed ourselves to be where we are, just like you did. There's a vision for you here, Jordan, LeBron, a bigger corporate vision. Companies love them because their messaging connects to the public across all demographics. And that's how we want to position your endorsements going forward. Universal appeal. Okay. <laughs> but it, it feels like there's a catch coming. No, there's no catch. There is a little reality. Archie, he's a good guy, and we know that he brought you here, which is why we want to provide him with a generous finder's fee as a parachute. But for us, we need you free and clear of all old attachments. Your future depends on an uncluttered vision. All new NBA players have to go through these difficult transitions. So it's you guys or him? From our perspective, it's just the way it has to be. You should hear what he has to say. Maybe he really is the right fit for you and for your vision. But for us, it's one or the other. I don't like it. Not one bit. But fine. I'm not afraid of a little competition. But her pitch on the corporate take is a flat idea. You have personality and you have an opinion. Your boy, Hendrix Cobb, Harden, Embiid, they're doing just fine being who they are. That's how we seal your endorsements. Big and bold. But doesn't that idea risk losing endorsements if I'm seen as controversial? Yes. Yes, it will. But you'll gain others. Others that share your vision and your story. Former football player. Newark. Your dad. You're the underdog. That stuff is powerful, so right, use so it. Is contract available for me now? No, I don't. But I will. It's called trust, Junior. Uh, she says she got a movie deal available for deals? me now. Deals? Or ideas where deals may be? I don't know. It seems to me like you should. These big agencies, man, they, they pack a punch nowadays. She may have a little bit more firepower than me right now. But I know who you are. I know where you come from. And I know what you want. As if it were my own story. But fine, if you want to walk away from all of that, so be it. It's either her or me. You choose. Listen, uh, things haven't always been smooth between us, but I know you. Good and bad. Yeah, I, I could dig it. And the fact that you're from here means something. I know I'm making the right choice. Thank you, Junior. I won't let you down. I know you won't, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. You're projected in the lottery. Now, I know you might think you're rock solid, but you can still step out of line. 
Okay, how so? <laughs> Bad press. Or anything off court that won't sit right with the GM. You know? You could tumble. Blow your personal work up. Tumble. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's real simple, man. Just be smart. The next step in this process is the same, whether you're lottery or not. It's the league personality evaluation test. They put you in a room with an interviewer who asks you a bunch of probing questions about yourself. <laughs> okay, so I'll just be honest. You know, let them know yeah, why. Yeah, but, you know, be aware of what they want to hear. Integrity, character, leadership. You keep that in the back of your mind when you're answering questions and you'll do just fine. Junior, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice Glad to meet you, too. Thank you. This isn't a test. This isn't an interrogation. We're here to have a discussion, point of which is to get to know you better as a person. There are no right or wrong answers. All we want is for you to be as open and honest as possible. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's get started. What would one of your family members tell us about you? Uh, I think they tell you I lead by example. How so? Well, I'm always the first one in the gym and the last one out. That's how my dad taught me to be. Look, I don't have to get in your face to lead. I'll show you with effort. And it rubs off on the right people. They see what it takes to get where I'm at. Great. Let's... Move on. I'm curious. How do you deal with teammates you don't like? That doesn't really happen a lot, to be honest with you. Yeah. But if it does, I just try to work out whatever differences I might have with that teammate and me. I don't like to let things build up, you know? What if you can't work out your differences? I, then I keep trying. Now, I don't really like to think there's a situation where I couldn't see eye to eye with the teammate if I tried to understand where they're coming from. Everybody wants to win, ultimately. Are you the best player in this draft class? Yes. Um, I believe that's the mentality I have to play with. Explain a little more. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm in the conversation, and I know that. Uh, but who's the best can be subjective, like... MJ versus LeBron. Let's say I'm the best in the class now. It's irrelevant to me. I mean, I want to be the best five, ten years from now. And that's what drives me. One last question, and then I'll let you go, Junior. I'm wondering, what's your primary motivation for joining the league? Hooping. It's all I care about. Can you expand on that a little? Sure, I mean... Money's cool, money's nice. I won't turn it down. But, uh, yeah, all of that, all that extra stuff is just icing on the cake. All right. That'll wrap it up. Wait, that's it? That's it. Thank you very much for your time, Junior. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. It was nice to meet you. Nice talking with you. Best of luck in the draft. Thank you. That's not a good or a bad thing. Teams check out the data. Someone like you more, someone like you less. The summit won't matter. The deal is fluid. Mm. I I'll take two of those. Yeah, but the results can change where I currently sit in the draft. I'm not hungry. You don't have to. You could stay exactly where you are right now. So I just got to sit here and wait? Well, not here. There are a few days left before the next steps are taken. I figure you might enjoy your bet a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you think this is so funny, man. This is a marathon, son. Breathe. Or should burn yourself out before we even get started. Okay? So next is media day. All the lottery picks get national attention, so everybody's got to cover it. I was re-watching Science Presser before he's drafted. Seemed pretty easy breezy. No tough questions. Huh. They're not going to dig too deep on lottery guys at this point. There's no upside in it. It should run smooth, but be on the lookout for those sideways questions. <laughs> I'm good. This is gonna be fun. Follow me, please. All right. Junior. 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 Hey, who are you looking for? Junior. Right here. Right here. Right here. Junior. All right. We're gonna have a couple of minutes with Junior today, so let's fire away. Alex, you have the first question. What's been the most interesting part of the draft process so far? Ah, just the whole atmosphere, really. 
and it's a whole bunch of excitement here and everybody's really happy to be starting a career so that type of energy has just become really infectious obviously you're a big time talent and anyone would be lucky to draft you but where do you want to end up any preference well, I'm going into this thing with an open mind. I've got some thoughts going in, but perception, what the media tells you, um, that ain't always the truth. So I'm looking to meet with some people, have an open dialogue, and we'll see what they're all about. No preference at all, then. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to meet with teams and learning about what they're all about. Okay. Is there any doubt in your mind that you're the best player in this draft? You know, I try not to get caught up in comparisons like that. Yeah, I heard someone say the other day that comparisons are the thief of joy. I like that. And yeah, to me, all I care about is being the best player I can be and maximizing my God-given talent. You know, I let other people worry about the rankings. Junior, okay, who's right next? Right okay, 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 that's all the time we have. Thank you. Thank you. Please. You're welcome. Thank you. Ash. Sempre. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, next we're going to a private workout. I'm gonna have a list of all the teams that are interested there. You just say which ones and I'll make it happen. All right, done and done. <laughs> now, old friend of mine, Damian Lillard's gonna right, be- Wait, hold on. You're friends with Dame Lillard? That's so hard to believe? Well, met maybe, but friends seem like a stretch. All right, somewhere in the middle, okay? Right. This manager owes me a favor. Anyway, Damon's going to be at the workout to give you some guidance. That's amazing, man. I'm a huge fan of his. Thank you. Just do what you got to do. And remember to use Damon as a resource because that's what he's there for. Oh, and save the selfies for next year when you're in the league. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what up, Dane? Junior, what's going on, man? And not much, man. I appreciate you doing it. It's all good, man. I yeah. wish I had somebody to mentor me and walk me through it, so it's all good. All right, so what you gonna tell me about this, man? What's, the, what's up with this process? The first thing I'm gonna tell you is you gotta go into this with confidence because you're being evaluated for every little thing, your demeanor, your skills, um, your athleticism, every single thing, they take a note of it. So you got to go in here with a mentality that you belong, and the hype is real. I appreciate you saying confidence because I'm nervous, man. We was all nervous. Everybody that went through this process and became legends and became all-stars and all that, they went through the same thing, had the same nerves, and they got through it just like you're going to get through it. How did you deal with everybody taking notes and watching and looking for your flaws and, you know, trying to pick your game apart and everything? I went into the gym and I pretended like nobody was there. I pretended like I was back home in Oakland, getting one of my workouts in, and it all worked out. So you gotta do the same. All right, all right, I'm gonna try to shake it off, man. Any last words of advice before I go in here? Go get them. All right, man, I appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thanks, man. Yo, dang. Yo, man, I just did my thing in there. You did your thing, bro. Yeah, I left it all on the court. That's how you got to do it. Anytime you get in that position, you got to leave it all out there. All right. That's what you did. All right, so now it's draft night. What's next? Hey, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. You're going to be curious where you're going, what team you're going to play for, who you're going to be playing with, East Coast, West Coast. There's going to be a lot of things up in the air, but at least you know that you're going to be an NBA player, but it's a great feeling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So how'd you feel when you went on the stage with the commissioner? I was, man, it was a great feeling. Go up there, shake his hand, take the picture. You get your hat, yeah. represent your team yeah. for the first time. Man, I'm it's nervous. Crazy. I'm excited, though. It's that excited nerve feeling yeah, going on right it's now, one of man. Those I'm weird feelings, but I'm excited yeah. for you, man. Congratulations, because I, I know it's going to happen for you, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. For sure. I hope these workouts not done, though, because I'm ready to, you know, <laughs> oh, on now the you, Now you ready. know everything. All right. When you talk about Junior, all you can say is, Surefire lottery pick. Right there in black and white, baby. <laughs> I can't, man. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just enjoy it and get some rest. Oh. <laughs> and don't touch anything sharp. 
Don't ride anything fast, and whatever you do, don't jump off of anything high. <laughs> oh, man, I couldn't have done it without your partner. We're almost there, bro. Come on. Yo, man, I'm wired, bro. Yo, me too, me too. I mean, I know it's good to like to go to bed early and all that, but I'm bouncing off the walls right now. Yo, I'm bugging too. It's like, this is all too crazy, man. Like, this is my life, you know what I mean? I do. I mean, the NBA is right there. It's amazing, but it's tomorrow. Yeah. <sighs> Yo. What? Let's go out. Aw, oh, man. We can't go out party. We get caught and it goes viral, man. We're gonna be done. <laughs> I'm not talking about partying, man. Where are you trying to go then? Oh my God. I don't know, man. Maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. Nah, it's fine. Take pics with fans, watch some street ball. It's innocent. And there's something old school about it. The media will eat this up. No risk. Junior and Henry. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, snap. What's good, man? What y'all doing, doing here, man? How y'all doing? What y'all doing here, man? What's up, man? Yeah, what's what's up, up, man? Let me guess, y'all here for draft night, huh? Yeah, yeah, man. That's yeah, a big yeah, night, man. Right. You feel yeah. excited? Yeah. Okay. You know what? What do you? Th I got an idea. How about we get warmed up? Let's uh, let's go twos. What you think, man? Let's play some twos. Let's have some fun. I mean, unless unless y'all scared of my boy. Ah, man, I'd be scared. Come on. Just <laughs> <laughs> you got jokes. You got jokes. Oh, well, I'm man. down. I ain't never scared. Hey, what, uh, you think? what you think, Junior? Come on, man. Friendly competition. Hold on one second. Let me holler at you. Oh. One second. What's up, man? All right, let's think this through, man. All these fans, all these cameras. This is go really bad for me, man. Okay, okay. Pros and cons, right? Right. Right? Yeah. Cons. He beats us, that goes viral, we look like trash, and our draft stock washes right up the Hudson River. Yeah, that's bad, man. All of that sounds really bad. Pros, we take them down, that goes viral, we become legends, our draft stock goes through the roof. But you already the top prospect, man. I'm just saying, we, because we're teammates here. And it feels right. But, but, you are correct. I have no downside here. So listen, Junior, things can go bad real quick. I mean, that is Zion. Yeah. So that's why I'll let you make the choice. If you win, I'm in. If you're not, you sit back and watch the Zion show. All right. All right, all right. So we talked about it. So you guys ready to take me on or not? You think I'm gonna miss a chance to get at you in front of all these people? I see you, Junior. You want some of this smoke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, do we? Do we? <laughs> Let's go. All right. I don't lose, man, at all. <laughs> hey. We ready, then. We're about to take out these top prospects, man. Uh, over with. Let's go. We get ball. Yo, check it out. You're already trending on social. <laughs> I looked up in that video, too, man. Got your boys good side. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely gonna help our draft stock. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what's up, man. Just, guys, hey, fellas, good game, all right? I appreciate that, good man. Good game, man. man. Might work. I don't yeah. know how y'all won, but y'all some real hoopers, <laughs> yeah. man. Appreciate I mean, that. we definitely gonna beat you next time, for sure. Yeah. I wish y'all the best of luck tomorrow. It's the biggest night of y'all life. That's right. Have fun and enjoy the moment. Yes. I'll see y'all in the league. Yeah, yeah, you will. We'll see y'all soon. Yes, sir. Right. Don't be salty. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Arch? That's how you feel. Ah, uh, yeah, man, I'm good, I'm good. Look a little tense. Yep. Definitely tense. <laughs> Take a look around. So is everyone else. You're in good company. Hmm. Supposed to help me, man? 
I mean, helpful stuff would be to say, uh, imagine everyone in their underwear or in a clown's nose, like in one of those public speaking classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so is that helpful? I never found it to be. This is crazy, man. Dad's supposed to be here, not me. Well, you might as well know this now. Your dad was a good player and a great teammate. Influenced a lot of people. But he wasn't half the player you are. And if he were here, he'd feel the same way. I think he would have said he was proud of me. I mean, I mean we both know those words would have never left his lips, right? <laughs> like, never. Uh, never. <laughs> but he would have been thinking it. Tonight marks the realization of a dream for the best young players in the world. A reward for their many... <laughs> With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Hendricks Cobb from Syracuse New York. <laughs> yes! Yeah, good legend, boy. You know. With the second pick in the NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Junior from UCLA. Yeah, Arch. <laughs> Thanks, man. Congratulations, Junior. Thanks, man. Earth this boy. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, man. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> thank you very much. My oh, man. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> people live on this planet? 7.8 billion. You know how many in the NBA? Not that many. <sighs> Look, I just gotta thank you, coach. I wouldn't even be here if you hadn't talked me into it way back when. Ordinarily, I'd say you did all the work. But in this case, <laughs> yeah, I'll take the credit. <laughs> I guess I walked into that one. Hey, let's cheer some coffee or whatever it's around here. Let's do it. Yes. To Junior, Newark's finest. You made it. I'm really, really proud of you. Bravo. This life is a long story, son. Just make sure you remember who you are, yeah? This place. Sure, Dad. I will. <laughs> 